name's Michael Hawk. I'm retired Special Forces, 25 years, combat veteran and survival expert. If you're on the run, out here trying to hide, he's got to get in something small, like a bivy sack, on the ground, right? Which then exposes him to the critters and the wetness. If he wants to survive out here for any period of time, is he's got to be able to keep himself clean, He's got to be able to dry out his feet, and he's got to be able to stay hydrated. And those are massive challenges in this environment. If I were going to stay here for the night, this would probably be a bed for me. It'd be most uncomfortable, but at least I would be dry, can dry out my feet, not get et by the creators. This right here, it's going to be my tree-hugging pillow for the night. The threats that he faces out here are numerous. He's got an alligator, he's got a snake. He gets bit by one of those. If he doesn't get help within 24 hours, he's most likely going to be dead. But the biggest danger out in this environment will be the things that he doesn't see. The ticks, the leeches, and most importantly, the scrapes and cuts are going to get infected and they will bring him down unless he's got medical training and antibiotics. Brian does not strike me as the type of person that has the real survival skills necessary to survive in this kind of environment. Just don't think he has it.